This here is the 2020 Honda HR-V RS, which has just been given a new dark brown leather interior option in Malaysia. You know, with all the hype surrounding the upcoming Proton X50 and even the bigger X70 being priced the same as this, the HR-V has somewhat gone into the forgotten grounds among Malaysian car buyers. But let's not forget that this was the very car that started this whole SUV boom in Malaysia back in 2015. And even to this day, this car is still every bit as capable and relevant to the Malaysian car buyers. So let's take a quick refresher course on the Honda HR-V. The HRV RS is priced in Malaysia at just under 125,000 ringgit. But with this year's full SSC exemptions, prices have come down to just around 118,600 ringgit. That has also brought the prices of the full range down to close enough to 100,000 ringgit, starting at just 104,000. So if you're looking to buy a big and spacious family SUV, this is still a prime choice. This being the top of the line HRV RS, it comes with a whole host of extra features. The front grille has been given this rather fetching dark chrome finish, and pretty much all the chrome around the car gets this dark chrome look, which is very, very nice. The headlamps are self leveling full LED units, and even the fog lamps are LEDs. The RS also adds on a lot of gloss black plastic inserts on this front grille over here, as well as the whole front splitter that goes around the whole car. The gloss black body claddings, including the side skirts, the wheel arches and the rear bumper go a long way in making this car look a lot more sporty than the rest of the range. The wheels are also bigger with the different design, now 18 inches with Continental UC6 tyres. These tube type LED tail lamps also add on to the premium look of this car. The biggest change for 2020 is on the inside. You can now get this really nice dark brown interior option for the HRV RS. And as you can see, it's not just the seats that are brown. The color is also on this big center piece over here, which is soft touch by the way, and also on the center console and this handy armrest. There's also brown on the door cards and the stitching at the top here, as well as on the steering wheel, are also finished in brown. You can still get the plain black interior option, but the brown, I think, just looks so much better now. The rest of the cabin is still a very nice place to be in, even after all these years. It's still very comfortable, it's very, very practical with a lot of cubby holes down here and even down there. And especially with the RS's fully black headlining, pedal shifters and alloy pedals, there's a nice sporty feel to this car, which is very rare for an SUV. The HRV's party piece has always been in the back here. Technically, this may be a B segment or a compact SUV, but you wouldn't have guessed that sitting in the back here. It's just so huge. Just look at that, it's massive. Together with the big rear windows, this is still a very nice car to bring your family in. Plus, in terms of build quality, there's a nice plush feel to the top of the rear door cards, which I think is even better than the more expensive Honda CR-V. Honda's practicality advantage is on full display in the back of the HRV. At 437 litres, it is still the biggest in the class, and the boot floor is very, very low despite having a spare tyre underneath. And even with the low floor, the rear seats fold down completely flat for you to load in much, much bigger items. There's also the tip up ultra seats, which is handy to carry much taller items without having to tip them on their sides. Even the simple tonneau cover is quite clever. It may be just a single piece of plastic over here, but you can just fold it down and then store it when not in use. Under the hood, the HRV gets a 1.8 litre iVTEC engine making 142 PS and 172 Newton meters of torque. The engine is mated to a CVT driving the front wheels. And specific to the RS model is a variable gear ratio steering system for a more sporty driving feel. 
As for safety, the HRV gets six airbags and electronic stability control as standard. And the top models also get Honda's Lane Watch Blind Spot system. So there you go, that's the 2020 Honda HRV RS. What do you think of the new brown interior? And what do you think of the HRV in general? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and stay safe.